to create this design you need to add a cube then go to the edit mode select everything and add a bevel on it add four segment bevel and give the proper bevel width then go to the object mode then you need to add another cube and scale it down and then apply the scale and then go to the edit mode select these edges and control b add bevel on them here also you need to add four segment bevel give the bevel width lesser than the first cube then scale it like this and then scale it along the y axis and just try to align it properly with the edge looks so that's why you need to scale it and then select both the objects and use the boolean operation difference and then apply the boolean modifier and then rotate this cutter object into 90 degree then use the boolean operation difference then one more time apply the modifier rotate the cutter object and use the boolean operation difference and if you are facing this kind of difficulty then you need to adjust the scale little bit then apply the modifier delete the cutter object now go to the edit mode select everything and take the symmetry along the x y and z axis then select these faces and delete them we will work on one corner of the cube then here you need to use the knife tool and you need to create right corbis topology for that create cuts like this then dissolve these edges you need to create this kind of cuts and try to maintain that corbis topology then select everything and press m and merge by distance then select this words and merge at last like this and then subdivide this edge select this word and merge at last and then you can get this kind of corbis topology then delete this face loop then delete this face loops also and delete this remaining faces then select this word and snap 3d cursor to it change the transform pivot point to 3d cursor and duplicate it and rotate it duplicate it and rotate it in this way so you can get this kind of corner then join these objects and then merge by distance then if you get this kind of word then select that word press shift g amount of adjacent faces and delete these words then add the sub modifier then add few loop cuts on the then add few more loop cuts then select this edge loop and press f to fill the gap then subdivide this edge and then snap your 3d cursor to world origin select this word and scale it along the x and y axis and give the value 0 so you can get this kind of face then one more time snap the 3d cursor to that corner word then select that face duplicate it and rotate it select everything press m merge by distance so you can get this kind of thing then select these faces and use the insert operation and create cut with the knife tool like this so we can get that loop structure at there and then you can select these faces and delete them then dissolve these edges then select everything and extrude along the normal and give the proper thickness at there then select these faces and delete them and then select everything then snap 3d cursor to world origin and duplicate it and rotate it then use the merge by distance and in this way you can get this kind of outer cube design and then select this edge loops shift g select similar with the face angle so you can select all other edge loops and then control v add bevel on them add two segment bevel and shape factor should be one so you can create this kind of supportive edge loops and you can get sharper edges at there and shade smooth it then turn on the matte cap view and cavity check the face orientation then press alt n and recalculate the normal now the face orientation is right now you can see it is looking really well then you need to select this inner faces like this press shift g and select with the parameter and then increase that selection in this way then decrease the selection little bit with the control minus and shift d to duplicate it and press p to make a separate object 
so we can create that inner cube with the help of these faces. Now recalculate the normal for these faces and then select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap in this way. Now we need to create right topology for these faces. Select these faces with the parameter and then use the insert operation and delete these faces. Now we need to merge the words a little bit. Select these words and merge them at the center in this way. Then dissolve these edges with Ctrl X. Select this edge loop and use the face grid fill. Turn on that simple blending option. Then select this face loop, then select similar, select with the parameter. Then deselect these unwanted faces and delete these faces. Then select these faces, increase the selection, then shift it to duplicate it and rotate it. Then select everything and merge by distance. And in this way you will get this kind of inner cube. So you got the outer design and the inner design. Now I will create a little detail on this outer design. Then select these faces and press P to make a separate object. Now we will create faces for this object. You need to select these edge loops and then dissolve these edge loops. Then select this edge and press F to fill the gap. Select this edge, press F to fill the gap. We can use the grid fill also add there. Then add loop cuts like this. Then select these faces and delete them. Then add the mirror modifier on this part and take the symmetry along the x, y and z axis. And similar thing you need to repeat for this part also. And in this way we can create this kind of design. You can see the details, you can see the shading and it is pretty simple and easy looking, perfectly cubical, hard surface prop design. So that's it for today's thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to YouTube channel. Bye bye see you in the next video. Take care.